back to the channel. Today we have a special event. I am in my 16 year old's room and we are going to do a special project. And the special project involves my linen closet. Um, so when Genesis and Gabe moved in, our linen closet was moved to Augustine's closet. And this is what it looks like right now. It's real bad. Here is a little snapshot of, yes. This is a real closet. It's just piles of laundry heaped up. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when you have like 4,000 children, I only have four, but it's really hard to keep things clean. So like I said before in other videos, I'm a mom of four amazing children that we adopted from the foster care system and who we love dearly. And we're just trying to keep the house manageable and hopefully in the future ready for more children. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take everything from that closet right there and we're going to help Augie get all this stuff so he can put it in his closet because he doesn't have any space for any of his stuff. The boy doesn't have a lot of stuff. And then what we're going to do with the linen is we're going to put it into this closet in the bathroom. So I got some, a little bit of storage organization. So like that top shelf, I'm probably going to purge most of that top shelf there. And then this is where all the towels and the linen's going. Literally, we don't have very much stuff in there and these shelves go back pretty far. It's pretty dark in here. Um, I'm gonna have to get a light in there so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to get rid of this thing. This is an eyesore. And then I got laundry baskets to go on the floor underneath so that the kids laundry can go in there. So we're going to redo the whole thing and we're going to take you guys along for the journey today. And the first step of what we're going to do is we're going to do it like con Han Mari style. I don't know if you guys ever heard of her before, but she, Chad calls her the Komodo dragon, but she has a whole Netflix series um, that just came out too. And I've been watching her videos for a few years, but Chad has been into it with me. We've been watching them. You know, we're only on like episode like four. So it shows you how much we watch TV. We're literally, we don't watch a lot of TV because we have a lot of people in our life and we're trying to keep things organized and keep things afloat. And yeah, so. Let me show you a picture of who she is. And I'm actually gonna show you a picture of Komodo Dragon, so it's kind of funny that Chad would call her a Komodo Dragon right here. And then here's a Komodo Dragon. <laughs> totally doesn't look like her at all so it's just awesome so she does a lot of things she, uh, her biggest thing is does this spark joy in your life and we're gonna find out so I don't know if linen sparks joy for me but it's practical and we need it for when we have guests so and I know there's some stuff in here that just needs to be get rid of so anyways let's just get going here with this project all right I will set you up in here and I'll take all this linen out and put it on our bed. Here we go. Seven. What do you guys think of Chad's PJs? I think they're terrible, but his mom got on this shirt. Well, it's not it's not really PJs. I it's like this pond. shirt, but it's like a, it's kind of cool. My outfit's really cute today. Because she hates other cultures. No. <laughs> no. Right. Dude. All right, Augie, give me a hug. I am culturally We're going to take all aware. the bedding and we're going to put it on here. I'm getting in touch with okay. my Japanese side.
my gosh. Do you think, Chad, that we should get the towels too? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe. We have to clean out this whole entire like closet area. Okay, let me yeah. take this downstairs. Yeah, so, so let me show you how bad of a mom I am. I, well, not a bad mom, just an organized person, right? Throw this away. This I know it's a no, we cannot throw pictures of our children away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, look at how cute so she was. It's just a little wrinkly, though. Yeah, that was her kindergarten children. photo. Okay, so this has been in here since we did Jenny's room. <laughs> and if you're following me on YouTube, that was a couple weeks ago. This a month ago? Is why I hate house projects because one house project actually becomes another house project. Don't be a grumpy dump on I'm YouTube. Just saying, I'm it's right. permanent. People will see it forever. No. <laughs> yes, this so I think that. Oh, and I need the door taken off. The door is fine. This needs to come off so that we can get in there more. It's going to take a little bit of work. You're gonna do a great job. I don't even need a bunch of garbage bags. Okay, let's show you what we have going on in this mess. Over here. What we got going on here is this big pile of laundry. So I need to narrow it down here to figure out what we need specifically for guests. I want enough so that if my sister's family comes and a couple other kids come, we'll have enough for everybody involved in that situation, which does happen several times a year. So I'm not being over exaggeratory, like this is enough bedding for our family. But, and then this little mattress right here, it's so helpful, you just throw it out on the ground for kids and it's great. So we, we're definitely gonna keep that, um, even though it's an eyesore, but it's super helpful when you have guests to throw another bed out there. So the whole point of con, Mari style of Marie Kondo, what she suggests is you put it in your hand and if it sparks joy, you keep it. And if it doesn't spark joy, you thank it and you donate it or sell it or something. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Here we go. because it's been played way too many times. No, she just says stuff. <laughs> Whoa, but this one is gosh. a little bit rough. Let's just throw that. What happened to that? Is that ours? This That's is Augustine. people. This is people. That's Augustine. Yeah, it's what like... do they do? All right, the battery died, and so you guys missed parts of this, uh, but we, whoops, there's, whoa, okay. So we are now done sorting everything, and we got everything, um, like, separated into throwaway 
donate slash give to our friends, probably friends from church or something. Um, we have a big pile of that. Actually, a really nice comforter set in there too. So I'm excited to give that to someone because um, we just don't need it, you know? So let me show you what we got going on here. Okay, so these three big bags here are what we're going to give away. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of linen, so it is like big comforters and stuff like that. And then here are our towels. We folded all those, are ready to go. There is more, but we, they're dirty, so they are in use, but that's not bad. And then this right here, we bought this from Walmart, this little tote, and it was about $3 or something, or $5, it was super cheap. We have all our washcloths. We have only three hand towels in the house. We actually use those as hand towels because there's six of us. Think about it, guys, it's gross. So you have to get a big hand towel. And then we got our pillowcases here for our guests. Which I thought that was really cute and everything fit really nicely for five bucks. Nice. And then here are our only sheets in the house. We need more sheets. This is what I firmly decided. I always struggle when guests come over to find sheets. Now I know why, because I have like seven. And maybe even less. Okay, yep. And then this is our pile of comforters we're keeping. And then these two piles here is what we're throwing away. Don't mind the tool box, all that stuff. But this right here are pillows that Chad did not want to keep because they're yellow. And he promised me he would buy some more for our guest. And those are some, they're just yellow from being used a lot. And then this is a bunch of like health and beauty products that I was not using that are expired or outdated. Very sad, I don't do that anymore. But they're very old, four or five years old. so I toss them into that bag right there and yep comforters and then this is the one pillow that we did keep and this right here is that comforter set and then this we found this it's so cute this is Augustine's first blankie that he had living with us and I asked him I was like hey I think that's Gabe's blankie why don't you give it to him he's like actually it's mine and I was like oh we're gonna keep that forever so that one that one stays. That's our baby's boy's baby blanket, so it's mine. You cannot take it from me. I am so, so cute. You gotta hold on to what you can get, you know? He's 16. He's 16. He's getting old. Okay, so I have to find a spot for that. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but we're gonna keep it. And so we're gonna put all this stuff back. So let me show you what I did here in the bathroom, which is, the house is a complete mess right now, but that's okay. We're gonna get it back together here. Um, okay bathroom right here into the closet all right be around all right so i literally gutted the whole thing we're gonna get a new light um we have a friend that is gonna give us a new light he's gonna fix that for us so there's gonna be light in here soon i, I could have painted it but i did not want to and the only thing that i purchased in this room were those two baskets and i'm hoping to use that for for this um, I got this free from my uncle and it was for the kids clothes and I was wondering we're kind of thinking that maybe we'll go to those instead to kind of clear up some space and see how it goes they fit nicely under there they actually can go all the way into there which is nice um, I just don't know if the kids will take the effort to pull it out we'll see and then we finally got our ironing board we never iron maybe we'll start as you can see we never open that iron but we have it all here so it'll be easier to manage. So now all I have to do is put all of that stuff in that room. And here, the comforters might be the challenge. Yep, that's where we're at. So let's do it. And there it is. Magic. All back in there. Um, a few things that... Okay, so down here is the kids' clothes. Um... And they actually fit pretty nicely down there and they slide out. We'll see how long that lasts. I feel like it's going to work better and it's a better working space for them. You're not tripping over each other. Um, I feel like that's good. Okay, so then we have a couple of duvet covers. I didn't want to put them on the top of the shelf because I wanted them inside the cupboard because they're um, a little bit better quality and those are just kids blankets and we use them more and they get washed more. So there's less, like, um, ooh, sorry about that, chances for dust. and. Yeah, so this is the finished result. I think it turned out pretty good considering that this used to be just a closet for towels and towels only. 
um, I feel like it turned out really well. And um, so right here we have a first aid kit, our sheets, our kids blankets for like guest kids, pillows. Eventually there'll be more pillows Chad's buying. He says he's gonna buy like three more pillows because he threw away three pillows so that that is all filled up. And yeah, the whole project costs so like $12. Like I said, this is from Walmart and it has our sheets and our, not our sheets, but our pillowcases and our washcloths in there and hand towels. Looks really nice and yeah, we have some space here because We have some space here because um, we have more hand, we have more towels that are being washed right now, so that we're just leaving a little bit of space for that. But we did get rid of a lot. Feels better. We actually took out this thing right here. The only really awesome thing that would be better is if we painted it, which we're not going to do um, today. But if we ever sell the house, we will paint it, and then this is how it looks closed up. Amazing, right? <laughs> a hundred times better than it was, I would say. And we did vacuum in there. It just has some stainage in there, probably from the laundry hat brand, to be honest with you. And so that's another good reason to get it out. Eventually we will remodel this bathroom and it will look different, but for now it's good because it's out of Augie Bear's closet. So let me go give you guys an update on his closet real quick here. Doo -doo 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 going through the house it's a little messy we got drying laundry all right back into his room um i'll give you a little update here so as you can see you'll turn the light on there is a lot less stuff in here can you believe this is the same closet as it was a few hours ago i have three or totes right there i need to go through them it has some sentimental items for me and i need to go through those but yeah yes so we are done and I hope you guys liked that linen closet KonMari style video. And um, if you guys didn't see my last video, um, I am starting to work with an organization to recruit foster care parents. And so if you guys are interested in foster care, please put that in the comments below and I will connect you with the right person to talk to so that you can become a foster parent. Or if you just have questions, just let me know. I know that it has completely changed our lives and we love um, our kids so much. They're amazing and they're our kids like they really are and I think it was one of the best decisions we ever made so I'm happy to do this for my boy and I am excited that that makes him happy. He actually asked me several times to, be, to clean out his closet for him because he was so overwhelmed with the stuff and it's finally happened. We're excited about that so anyways I hope you guys are having the best day ever and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Want to say bye, Chad? Bye! Just gave you, baby. Jenny, Jenny. Yeah,